Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I am here to give you guys like, um, this is an early bonus read, okay? Um, I'm actually like having kind of a rest day today, but I, I'm, I'm constantly getting more messages and I think it's, it's like an extension off of the last Cancer read that I just did. Not just, I put it out this morning. Um, about, you know, let the games begin. You're moving forward. You're going to feel like a burst of power or energy or something. You're energized or whatever. Your abundance is going to be energized or your strength is going to be energized. You know, we're he I'm hearing that Taylor Swift song still. So there's something in there that we're seeing wrong, and I, I, I think I, I know what it is. There, um, anyway, Cancers, this is going to be a wild one, okay, because I'm getting like channeled messages here. But yeah, with the cycle starting, that's what this is about. I think you guys have been manifesting and great things are coming and you're going to be feeling very empowered very, very soon if you aren't already. Um, huh. This is your bonus read, Cancer, an extension. I think this is the extended version off of the last one. Um, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with all of you. Uh, so just take what does resonate, leave what doesn't, okay? Um, and thank you to everybody for <laughs> trying to follow me through these readings. Um, the energy is just really, really strong and powerful. And um, it's just, it keeps taking me in this direction, okay? So, um, yeah, uh, if you like this video, please go ahead, give it a big fat thumbs up, click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and this channel is for adults only. I think the main thing on my mind right now, guys, is just getting the messages straight, okay? Because um, I think we're seeing something wrong here, and I think I know what they're showing me. What they're showing me is that same Taylor Swift song that I picked up on earlier, okay? Um, uh, in the middle of the night, in my dreams, you should see the things we do, baby. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the night, in my dreams, oh, I know I'm going to be with you. So I'll take my time, right? Okay, so we're seeing that one differently. This isn't about um, the, what the message in the song is not about you getting back to your partner coming back to you or anything like that. And I know maybe for a lot of you that's what you want to hear, but for this message, it's really about um, all the things that you see for yourself, you know? I feel like... Um, I feel like you're, you're letting go of past things, past beliefs, past way of doing things, right? And it's almost like you're talking to your future self here. Um, you should see the things that we do in the future. You should see the things that we do in the future because I think you're trying to let go of the past, okay? Um, and you're focusing on you and what's coming up in this new cycle because it's coming in fast. Um, manifest, manifest, just keep manifesting, okay? Um, the things that you want for your future. And when they, when, when in the song it's, she says, so I'll take my time. That's when they start showing me the Goonies, okay? <laughs> they start showing me the Goonies and that part where they're on that treasure hunt and the kid says, it's, it was their time, it, it was their time up there, but now we're down here and this is our time, this is our time down here. So when, when, when we're talking about taking your time, take this time for yourself, plan that this is your time, this is your time now. Yep, I'm getting the goosebumps, thank you, I'm on the right track. This is your time, it's your time now. You know, when we talk about the, the, what they're doing is they're taking the Goonies and they're butting it up against this, this Taylor Swift video. Butting it up, right? End to end. If I'm looking at the colors of the videos, I'm seeing all of this being gray up until the end when I see the jewels come out at the end of that Goonies movie. 
then the colors switch to blues and yellows um, in in the video so you're going from a big gray area where you had all this dark energy in the last cycle please try to follow me on this all the last darker dingy energy from the last cycle and 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 at the end of the last cycle you get handed all of these colorful jewels right um, abundance your wishes whatever it is that you're manifesting and and this is your time it's your time now cancer okay so you're gonna take it you're gonna take your time uh, and you're gonna run with it into a new cycle right where where everything is high vibing and you're you're gonna have a lot more energy and you're gonna you're gonna be able to be more abundant and more creative and you're gonna break away from the old cycle you and become the new cycle you the, the a stronger um a stronger version of, you become a warrior um i'm getting the messages right because i my the hair is standing on my standing up straight on my arms here um, okay, so anyway, yeah, I think this is an extension, guys, from yesterday's video, but I, I feel like we need to see things in a different way. We need, in this new cycle, we need to, we need to keep focused on ourselves and our, and our abundance here, okay, and building and growing um, in our spiritual journey, all right? I keep seeing the, you know, that... Um, ball of energy you know um that universe talking to you this is the universe here this is the universe guys you know um that new cycle is starting and these are the things that we need to start talking about is all the things that are going to start happening to you in that new cycle <sighs> really this is just going to be a quick little ditty um you know about yeah wish fulfillment see wish fulfillment wish fulfillment in the new cycle and there it is the world this is what I see in that video okay is the world card you being elevated and all of this beautiful energy swirling around you and you just looking at it like I know great things are about to happen I know my blessings are coming. I know the universe has got me. You're, you're elevating into your time. It's, it's your time now. It's your time. So take your time. Take it. <laughs> right? Seize the day. Right? Yeah. And I think, that, I think there's someone here too who may be committed that's just watching you watching you with a dumbfounded look on their face like uh, in amazement okay in amazement but this is somebody who holds back they hold back their love they don't show you they don't tell you you know why because this person's already committed to somebody else you know but they're gonna hold I feel like this person is holding back but listen I feel like you have an emperor coming in. You have somebody who won't hold back. You have somebody that will, uh, you know, have the courage to approach something so awesome, someone so awesome, Cancer. This is you being elevated into a whole new cycle, leaving behind situations and people that really didn't give you anything you know they held back or held you back now now i feel like you're going to be facing a, a an emperor here in the new cycle wish fulfillment's coming in i feel like you may be a bit guarded um towards new people coming towards you um really wanting everybody to be completely honest with you you're not going to be hurt like you were in the past it's a whole new cycle now. This is what I see in that video, right? The, the world, the universal energy is lifting you up, surrounding you, sending you blessings. All this wish fulfillment, all this wish fulfillment. I feel like, I feel like this person here is just 
watching you, wanting to communicate, feeling, you know, feeling fairly immature with with their, you know, what how they want to communicate, right? Um, be wanting to flirt. They really don't know how to reach you at your level anymore. They just don't know how. You know, the, some for some of you, you're dealing with the Pisces. You could be, you know, or a, another water sign, Taurus, Aries, um, um, Aquarius, or any kind, any um, air sign. I feel like, you know, for some of you, your people aren't going to do anything. For others of you, they're trying to think of a way to communicate, you know. They could have been hanging out forever, just procrastinating, putting this off. But quite frankly, in the Queen of Swords energy, you know, you're protecting all that you're, all that you're manifesting. All of these beautiful options that are swirling around you right now. Each one of them is filled with sugary goodness. Sugary goodness for you, Cancer. You know, and it's coming in. You're manifesting it with, with strength and confidence and power behind you because you gained the knowledge from that last cycle. And in that last cycle, when you think about the movie, you know, it was their time. It was their time up there, right? The people who were higher or thought they were at a higher standing, right? The Goonies, they were kind of considered the weirdos, you know? Um, different, unique. Uh, they were never considered better. They were never considered even halfway in the in crowd or anything like that. It, was, it wasn't your time. Now it's your time. It's your time now. It's your time, so take it. So I'll take my time. Are you ready for it? Boom, boom, boom. Right. At the end, the Goonies had been mistreated. The Goonies, they, their happiness, they, they tried to, these people tried to take away their happiness. Just much like it's been trying, they've been trying to do that to you. Why can't I talk? Much like people have been trying to do that to you in this last cycle. Take away your happiness. Sabotage it in some way. These people are jealous. They don't want you to do better. Okay? Um, all that gray color, right, up until the end, where you go through all of that, that long journey that's very difficult, sometimes scary, sometimes heartbreaking, right? That huge long journey that you went through to the end where you've got those jewels in your hand. Okay? It's your time. It's your time now. And then that Taylor Swift song starts and I, I hear so I'll take my time. Are you ready for it? Right? Baby, let the games begin. Let the games begin. Let the games begin. Yeah. And, and meanwhile, people that you have to leave behind, right? Because you're moving forward into your blessings here. People are standing here like, well, how, what do I, how do I talk to cancer now? But that you have an emperor coming in here is what I feel. What else can you show me for cancer? Really, guys, that's, that's, that's the, pretty much all that I think I needed to tell you. Just a, just a quick bonus read, an extension from, from the one earlier today. Um, judgment, yeah. Passion, a passionate new beginning. Look, this is the divine making the judgment call. You know, people held back from you before or were immature with their love and their passion before. You rose above that. You, you're ro rising above whatever situation this is for you, okay? With all of this, all these magical options swirling around you, your wish fulfillment. This is you manifesting, very powerful manifesting here. And the, the divine has heard you. you. I feel like you are going to have your passionate new beginning. You're following the things that you're passionate about because those are the things that you've manifested. And here comes that emperor. I feel like someone new is coming. 
I feel like people are getting displaced and kind of switched around and you're you've got an emperor coming because you know what you've risen to a level where you need an emperor you need an emperor who's going to know what it is that they want and you're getting it I feel you're getting that emperor You know, someone's coming in fast. I feel like, you know, your new person could even be a cancer. They're come, they're flying in. Wanting to have a victory, coming off of a battle. I feel like this new beginning, your wish fulfillment, the things you've been manifesting, it's all coming really fast. Someone is very burdened by this. I feel like it's it's this person or who, whoever you're leaving behind, but they're doing nothing. They're doing nothing for their situation. They don't even want to get their, you know, they don't want to even feel the emotions here. They don't want to show their emotions. This person, this King of Cups, it's like Captain Wishy-Washy, right? This person doesn't want to show their emotions. You could totally be dealing with the Pisces here. You know, and they've been hanging out doing nothing, knowing that they have a choice to make in love, and this is a soulmate connection. If they're going to hang out do, and do nothing, someone else is going to come in. Because you're manifesting. I feel like you manifested someone new, and I feel like that's coming fast. That's the truth. That is the truth, Ace of Swords. All right, let's shuffle this deck. All right. This could be your person, too, trying to manifest, uh, trying to come in fast. You could be dealing, if that's the case, you could be dealing with your twin flame over here. Um, this could be them. But they still, I feel, are in a decision be to make because they're still committed to someone else. I don't feel like that's come to an end yet. I feel like your person's very, very burdened by it, but I don't think it's come to an end. I still feel like this person still has a decision to make, and they just hold everything back from you. And now they may want to change it. They may want to communicate. They've gotten clarity. They could be barreling in. This could be a twin flame soulmate. So you could have new coming towards you. I feel like someone new is coming. New beginning, a new passionate beginning. This is new, I feel. And I feel like if you're on a twin flame soulmate connection or you could be dealing with the Gemini or this is a very strong, yeah, a strong soulmate connection, right? Um, a deep level soulmate connection. Uh, this person, I feel like they could be coming towards you too. You could actually have two, multiple people. We picked that up before cancer for you. A new person and a person from your past. Both of them, I feel, wanting happiness. I feel like somebody wants to come in and tell you how they feel about you. They're thinking about it. They're, they're meditating on it all the things that they want to say. It could be either or, it could be both. Because you're being watched, I think. It could be that you're being watched by both people here. This is the new cycle, baby. Are you ready for it? Right? Let the, let the games begin. All right, what else can you show me for this cancer bonus? I'll just pull a couple more cancers and then I'll carry on with my day, darlings. Um, all right, what else can you show me? Yeah, just consider this like a part two. I think it's, I think it's an extension. Somebody wants to um, go off to calmer waters with you. I feel like it's this person, this, um, this person from your past here that's been holding back um, but the, I feel like a tower moment's coming for that person they're gonna soon find out that you may have someone else entering into the picture you're focused on you you're focused on you and whoever comes forward towards you 
has to have a backbone. They've got to have some courage. They've got to be able to stand, um, stand up for you, stand by you, right? Be good and right to you. Be fair to you. They're, they need to know what they want and they need to be able to speak up about it. And I, you've reached a level now where that's what you're looking for and you manifested it and I feel like it's coming through. Um, and a lot of other things too are coming. The things that you, the great things that you manifested cancer are coming. I, I really feel like that's the case. Definitely the judgment call has been made, I feel, in, in a love situation by the divine. You're being sent a passionate new beginning. And I feel like it's this new emperor. And your person's going to have a tower moment over that. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. And you're like, you're not talking. You're like, I, you know, no. No, I, you know, I'm looking forward. I'm, you're looking over in this direction, looking over in this direction. You're looking forward. You've got your back turned towards this. And new is coming. It's coming in. I think you're going to hear something soon. Yeah. Yeah, because your, your person is still, you know, they may want this. They may feel this with you. But they're too, um, they're, they're just too hesitant and too stubborn. They don't want to accept responsibility for the th actions and the decisions they've made in the past. They haven't been moving on anything. They haven't really made much of a, many choices in their world here. They're just staying in the same spot because it's more comfortable for them to stay where they are than to turn around and clean things up. This is someone who's settling here, but yet they, they can't let go of your, um, your energy and the memory of you and wanting you. But I feel like you're like, well, oh well. You're not really saying anything about it. You're not saying anything at all. I feel like you're just rising above all of this and leaving that energy behind is what I'm feeling like. Silently, gracefully, you're just looking on to better days. Look at how the sun is hitting your face. Look at all of this yellow. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, your person, like I say, they're, they're going to be bound to the devil here. Bound to the devil. You could be dealing with the Capricorn, Leo, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Pisces, water signs yeah it could be anyone the magician uh, the Aries Virgo yeah I feel like this is you pouring love back into yourself um, looking forward celebrating this is celebrating your new life that's what I'm feeling like here. Celebrating you, your new life. You've waited a long time. You've worked really hard on this. You've gone through a lot of pain for this. Yeah. You've turned out an empress, though. I feel like there, you know, there's lots of people watching you with passion. Someone is here wanting to go after what they want. But this is, look, you flipped. It's been a long journey. You worked on this. You put a lot of effort in cancer. You worked on this. And you waited a long time. And people underestimated you and you flipped on their butts. The Seven of Pentacles is the only card in the deck that always flips. Into the Empress in the Minor Arcana. That's you, baby. That's you. Look, you changed your dress. You fixed your hair. You did your nails. You bossed up. You're very uh, abundant here. You're very intuitively lit. You're being guided by the divine straight into your abundance, your happiness. The universe has seen you. You're leveling up, baby. You're leveling up. I don't know how many times I can tell you. We're just going to end there. 
You are leveling up, Cancers. Yes, you are, my darlings. From being underestimated and put down to being on top of the world. On top of the world. All right, Cancers, listen, that's what I got for you. It's just It was just supposed to be a quick little bonus read, but it, I, uh, it wouldn't leave me alone. I think I got it right this time. <laughs> um, so anyway, guys, I will join you guys over at Patreon a, a little later, okay? Um, I really just wanted to try to take a day of rest. Um, so join me over there um, either later today or, or tomorrow, okay? I just needed a little, a little breather. Um, so anyway, Cancers, I love you guys. Um, take care of you, my darlings. If you like this video, click the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, peace out.